Dan Jones is a filmmaker and an entrepreneur, but now he wants to run for the South Carolina House of Representatives. In this edition of Quintin's Close Ups, I speak exclusively with Dan one-on-one. -on -one. And be sure to download the free Quintin's Close Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. Dan, it is so good to meet you. Oh, it's very nice to meet you too, Quentin. I appreciate this. Oh, I appreciate being here, for oh, sure. Oh, well, thank you greatly. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't know this, but you're actually running for South Carolina House District 114, which covers most of West Ashley. And on your website, Dan Jones, both DanJones.com, that is, you say this, Dan P. Jones for South Carolina House District 114. Honest and hardworking, not beholden to special interests. Tell me, who else is Dan Jones? Who else is Dan Jones? Um, well, I've lived in West Ashley for 24 years now, going on 24. I'm originally from Texas. That's right. I grew up in a small town north of Dallas. Uh, I have a degree in business administration. Uh, I have five years of corporate accounting experience, which I think will serve me well in, at the State House. Whole Foods Market. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Uh, it was an exciting time. I started when they had five stores, and uh, they were buying up chains and opening stores, and I traveled around the country yeah. and uh, set up accounting systems. Wow. Uh, recently, for the last 20 years, I've been working as a filmmaker uh, and a film technician in the film industry. Wow. Um, some of my credits include uh, all seven seasons of Army Wives. Oh, yeah. Uh, as well as I worked on Iron Man 3 and Talladega Nights. Oh, congratulations, congratulations. And when you talk about the issues, I went to your issues page, mm -hmm. and in that particular section you said this quote, I believe the people of South Carolina deserve the best state government possible, the best public schools possible, the best infrastructure possible, the best opportunities to get ahead, and the best quality of life possible. And I will work tirelessly in Columbia to make that happen. Can I break that down? Sure. Okay, the best state government possible. How would you describe the state government right now? Um, well, I think we can do better, for sure. I mean, we have a lot of issues. Uh, uh, the VC nuclear plant is in the news quite a bit right, right. now. Um, I think that we faltered a bit uh, with our legislation on that. Um, I also feel like uh, we're kind of low in the statistics uh, with our uh, education system and our infrastructure and our health care. And uh, I'd like to work to get the, those numbers up for us. Public schools. Mm -hmm. What is the state of education in your mind? Uh, it's a little lacking, just the funding. Um, I think that we need to pay teachers what they're worth um, in order to attract top, top talent uh, to the field and retain top talent in the teaching field. Um, I, I'm a proponent of limiting class size and uh, I think we just need to be giving schools everything that they need to provide quality education to students in the state. And you talk about infrastructure. Obviously, a big issue in the West Ashley area and beyond is the completion of 526, if it will ever get done. Mm -hmm. Where are you with this issue? I'm still looking at 526. Uh, I've studied it a little bit. Uh, it's quite a bit of money. I'm leaning towards thinking that we can spend that money on other projects in the district and in the county to alleviate our traffic problems, that the price tag for 526 is quite high. Uh, but I'm still looking at it. And what are those other options in your mind? Oh, we just have a lot of bottlenecks around the county. Um, you know, 26, 61 needs a lot of work. Um, that's in my district. Um, there are just a lot of different points that we can spread that money around to um, that would be um, more effective, I believe. And you talk about, obviously, 61 and 26. Let me talk to you more about quality of life. Mm -hmm. What headline would you write to describe quality of life right now in District 114? I think it's very good. Um, you know, we're, like I said, traffic is a problem, but it's pretty good. It's growing right now, and okay. I think that we need to work on managing the growth in the district a bit more. Um, but the quality of life is good. Um, I love life in the low country. And you talk about working tirelessly in Columbia. Let me take you to Columbia, because obviously another headline in the news is about ethics. Mm -hmm. Can you describe to me ethics reform if you were to be elected? Well, I'm a proponent of open government. Um, I don't like, I don't want to see anything behind closed doors. Um, I would work hard to make sure that we would have clean government, open government. 
and that legislation wouldn't be beholden to special interests at the expense of the general public. Describe to me the following in one word, families. Families are the, the bedrock of society. Um, I just feel like we need to do everything we can to support healthy society, uh, healthy families. Environment, in one word. In one word, uh, I love the environment. How many words is that? <laughs> <laughs> Lean and clean government. Mm -hmm. In one word. In one word, uh, ethical. Energy. Uh, renewable. Structural issues. Um, well, we just need to pay attention to the problems in society. Um, you know, we have uh, education, we need to bring up our educational system, but we also need to pay attention to um, uh, structural issues. Uh, you know, mental health care, education, health care in general, we just need to be working on those issues. Let me take you to a couple of headlines, and this is from the Orangeburg Times and Democrat. House votes to cut SCG rates 18% rejects Senate plan. What plan do you have in mind if you were to be elected and deal with this issue? I support the 18% full reduction that the House is working on right now. Uh, the Senate proposal of 13%, we'll see which one they come down with in the okay. next week or two, but I hope that they definitely, you know, one or the other, doing nothing at this point is no good. Offshore drilling. I'm, I'm opposed to offshore drilling. Uh, I would like to put more studies into having off offshore wind set up off the coast of South Carolina. How do you articulate that to the current legislators in Columbia? Um, well, we just need to study it, but offshore drilling, um, I just don't think, you know, I think that we're moving away from a carbon-based economy, and I just don't see us that actually ever happening. Mm. Let me take you to, obviously, something that just happened recently, you know, obviously the prison riot at Lee Institutional Corrections Facility here in South Carolina. And I know that just recently certain inmates in South Carolina would be released soon or sooner if this particular bill is passed, and that's coming from WIS. Talk to me about that discussion in your mind. Well, um, about prisoners being released sooner? Yes, sir. Well, I think that depends. That's a case-by-case -case basis. It depends on what they're in prison for and how they, their behavior has been in prison. Um, you know, prison reform is something that we definitely need to look at. Um, it's definitely in the news, as you said right now, with Lee Correctional Institution. Right. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, our government is in a position to be reactive on these issues instead of and reacting when something big like this happens and tragic. Uh, instead of proactive in dealing with these situations before they come to a head like this. And let me reset because obviously I just mentioned that obviously you're living in West Ashley, you're running for House District 114, you are a filmmaker and entrepreneur, but beyond filmmaking and running for politics, who else is Dan Jones? Who else is Dan Jones? Um, I'm just an average guy, I'm practical minded in my life and work, um, I enjoy uh, my my wife enjoyed walking around the neighborhood. We enjoyed walking in Charlestown Landing. Yes. Um, I live a pretty simple life. That is so good to hear. Well, Dan Jones, thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate this. Oh, it has been a pleasure. Thank you so much for letting me come. Likewise. All right. Yeah, thank you.